In today's video, we're going to be talking about living in the world when you're not actually of this world. Hello my lovely sunshines and welcome back to hashtag a shy moment. If you are new here and this is your first video with me, my name is Cheyenne. I love you oodles but Jesus loves you more and I'm so excited that you're here on this channel to experience all of it. Before we jump into today's video, I just wanted to give a shout out to the Etsy shop that made this shirt for me. It says Jesus is my superhero. I have linked them down below because this is probably one of my top three favorite shirts now. <laughs> so in today's video, we're going to be talking about living in this world when you're actually set apart from this world. And I'm going to be a completely transparent with you. Sometimes I feel like I'm not equipped enough to be giving these videos and to be making these videos and to be talking about the gospel in the way that I talk about the gospel because I still feel super new in my relationship with Christ. And in another context, my pastor was telling me how oftentimes we are Pharisees of our own hearts. I cry pretty often, so literally me crying when I heard that was like nothing new, but I did cry when he said that while I was in service because it's so relatable. So a lot of times I will hear myself think, well, you didn't get that right. You absolutely misinterpreted that. Who are you to even tell people about Jesus and what gives you the authority or the right to say these things and yada, yada, yada. And what it boils down to is that's not God's voice. It is the devil's voice. Satan wants nothing more than to stifle the word of God. And we see this all the time, every day, in almost majority of the things that we do. And it's so thinly veiled that I think oftentimes people don't even realize it. But when you are connected with Jesus, when you are rooted in Jesus, when you know what he sounds like and you know essentially like what he looks like, meaning when people walk with Christ, you will know that they walk with Christ because of the fruits of their labor. They represent what it is that Jesus calls us as his followers to do. And if you're not in alignment with Jesus, then it's harder to see the way that the devil is taking over this earthly world. Now, obviously the world is not the devil's. The world is God, God created everything. But what I mean by saying that is that the devil walks among us and he disguises himself in a lot of human beings, which is scary and it's sad, honestly. And oftentimes there are humans that you are close with and that you love and he feeds off of your insecurities and any and all things that you can think of that are evil are not of God, but they are of the devil. Where I used to find myself getting angry that people didn't understand the word or that they understood the word but were still acting not in alignment with the word, it's not the person as much as it is the devil acting within that person. When Jesus opens your eyes, everything comes into focus. And what I mean by that is that you literally cannot go outside, not even within your home because of all the technology that you have without noticing the way that the world is corrupting Jesus's word. The whole point of this video is being in the world when you're actually set out of this world. And what I mean by that is, of course, I'm taking it from scripture. So John 15, 19, I'm gonna read you the New King James Version, it reads, if you are of the world, the world would love its own. Yet because you are not of the world, but I chose you out of the world, therefore the world hates you. Just let that sink in for a sec. As a Christian content creator and as someone who openly loves Jesus and follows Jesus and I'm unashamed to do so on social media but as well as in my everyday regular life walking outside, it is very evident when people dislike you because you are openly loving Jesus. And it's really sad if you think about it because we live in such a culture and such a society where if you do not agree with absolutely everything that is being push out there everything your friends believe and or align with, then you have become the enemy. And what makes me the most sad about that is that they're lost. Jesus is for everyone. Jesus loves everyone. Jesus loves all of his children. Jesus even loves the people who don't love him. And what I've come to realize is that a lot of times why people don't love Jesus is because they don't know who Jesus is and they don't know Jesus's character and they don't know the capacity in which Jesus has to love us, to care for us, to guide us. I will be the first to say that it makes me so upset when people say that they don't believe in Jesus or that, 
you know, insert X, Y, Z about him. And it makes me sad because oftentimes the reason they have a negative reaction to you mentioning Jesus is because they just simply don't know or that they had somebody who said that they were in alignment with Christ, misrepresent Christ to them. And then it corrupted their entire view on who Jesus is, which is why I will forever say it. It is so important to go back to scripture and to actually read for yourself who Jesus is, what Jesus calls us to do, and to experience him. Going back to being set apart from the world, but living in the world. And John 15, 19, what it really says to me and why it resonates so much is that Jesus has called you, right? Jesus has set you apart from all of the world and he has placed you here and he has placed you in your life and he has placed you around the people that you need to be around because he needs you to spread his word and he needs whoever it is that is surrounding you to hear the word also. I say this in almost all of my videos but I will only ever speak for myself and I will be transparent and honest in telling y'all that a lot of times it's still really hard to be in alignment and to be following Christ but then over here is all of the worldly temptations that are still kind of interesting. And I'm a human being and what bothers me so much is that I want so, so much to be an absolute perfect alignment with the Lord. And I realize that I cannot be on this side of heaven. And that really is something that I struggle with every day because I don't want to sin. <laughs> and I, I hate the fact that I do sin and that I sin daily and that every time I do sin, it pulls me further away from God. And I just, I hate it. And it makes me cry and it makes me upset. And I just, ugh. And so I'm saying that to say that being set apart is challenging because the closer that I get with Jesus, the further away I am from a lot of the things that people I love participate in. And I don't love them any less because they're still participating in it. It's just that I find myself very uncomfortable in a lot of the things that they are doing or that they're saying. And I question a lot, well, why is it that I feel so uncomfortable? And the answer is that because it's not in alignment with Jesus and it's not in alignment with his word. And the reason that I can acknowledge that is because I am rooted in his word and I am rooted in him and that I am set apart from the world and you know I definitely don't think that I have all the answers and I say that in all of my videos also because I just know I don't it's part of the reason that I rely so heavily on Jesus because Jesus does have all the answers and he knows everything and I'm saying that part to say that I think it's really special when he calls you and when he opens your eyes and when you become alive and it's special that he sets you apart and it's special the moment that he sets you apart because sometimes i don't even think you realize that you are being set apart and that he's using you to shed light about how amazing and beautiful and magnificent his kingdom is to those who who do not know him and who do not know anything about heaven and about the scripture and about him and about what it means to actually have true freedom and so while i don't know exactly why any of us are called or when any of us are called or how really god decides to wake us up and root us in him and root us in firm foundation and not among thorns and not on sand and not just you know out on pavement but to actually root us and to ground us and to keep us in his hand always but i do know that when he sets us apart, that while it is hard, there's a reason that he does it. And every day is not gonna be easy. Some days are gonna be harder than others and other days are gonna be so easy that you're like, oh my gosh, Lord, yes, you called me and I got this and I'm doing it and it's awesome. But the reality is that most days are probably not gonna be that because there's just so much evil that is taking place in the world. And when we are rooted in Christ, but then living in the world, the more that you see how evil and corrupted the world has become because it is no longer rooted in Christ. And it is important for us who are set apart and who know how the story ends and who know Jesus that we take our knowledge of knowing Christ and knowing how the story ends and we spread that out into the world as Mark 16, 15 says, Go into all the world and preach the gospel to all creation. We have a really hard task sometimes and or it feels like a really hard task. But this is the thing. When Jesus called you, he equipped you. You put on the full armor of Christ every day. You get out there. You do what he's calling you to do. And you, as hard as it is, remember that you are set apart 
and that there's a reason he is trusting you to do what he's trusting you to do. I really think y'all that <laughs> sometimes y'all I think that I make these videos just so that I have something to look back on so that I remember what it is that God's calling me to do and I am really grateful that the Lord has given me this platform to be able to spread his word and to be able to share my knowledge about him with y'all and also with myself because sometimes I'd be saying stuff like that's not you talking girl <laughs> anyway sunshine I love y'all oodles and noodles, but Jesus loves you more. Thank you for tuning into another episode, and I will catch y'all next time.